waiting to hear uh, from the military. We heard uh, just over half an hour ago, for, of course, from Sami Anand. That was the first real indication that something was happening. There had been rumours swilling around the, squ the square. The atmosphere had become electric. Uh, we'd heard uh, from uh, the head of the president's uh, party, Hossam Badrawi, who'd announced that Mubarak uh, would be speaking to the people uh, tonight. No one quite knew what that meant. There were also rumours from American Arabic-speaking television networks uh, that Hosni Mubarak was to hand over his military power to the military. And then just over half an hour ago, rather dramatically, uh, Sami Yanan, who is the commander-in-chief of the Egyptian army, made his way through the crowd just behind me and spoke to them on the podium to huge cheers to tell them that all their demands would be met. No one had expected quite this quite now. Uh, so within the next few minutes, he said half an hour, it's been just over half an hour now, he said that the military would be making an announcement, uh, but he did promise the protesters that all their demands would be met. And what we know, because it's now the third week of protests here in Cairo, that they have one uh, principal demand, and they've been quite clear about this so far, and that is that Hosni Mubarak should go. So all the expectations here in Tahrir Square, at least, given that they've heard it from the horse's mouth, in a sense, uh, are that at uh, Tonight, uh, they will begin to celebrate uh, the fact that uh, uh, the army should announce soon uh, that uh, some kind of change is happening uh, to the regime here in Egypt. How far it will go, we don't know. But certainly the fact uh, that Sami Anand came and spoke to the crowd himself and promised to meet all their demands has got people here very confident uh, that, that tonight what they've, what they've hoped for, what they've campaigned for, what they've slept out here for the last, uh, two, for more than two weeks now, all those demands uh, that they've fought so hard for uh, and against all the odds will uh, will tonight be met